friends, MD Vegan with a fruit breakfast. Fruit salad with a little bit of nuts and all these wonderful colors. I have papaya, I have strawberries, I have kiwis, I have blueberries. Wonderful colors. Colors are so important because they are called phytonutrients. The other way around is more correct. Phytonutrients are nutrients that are built by plants. Yeah, in plants. The plant is a fabric, no, is, a, is, a, is a machine that builds plants and uh, builds nutrients. And the phytonutrients, the plant nutrients, from, what, from the Greek word phyto, plant, they are in each plant thousands. Yeah. And it's, uh, in total we have already found hundred thousands. So there, in every plant, each single plant has different ones. And they, all the phytonutrients have different health benefits. So I don't want to elaborate on that now. It's a very interesting topic and the research has just only begun. It's ongoing, let's say at least. And we don't know which phytonutrient really is good for what and in which combination. That's even more important. The combination of phytonutrients is even more important, or very important, let's say, because you can't take one single of them out and then um, use them in a pill or so because they are double or triple as effective if combined for example as they are in nature yeah thousands of them are combined in one plant so that's just to explain and the colors are one expression of them another expression is the texture of the plant another expression impression is um, the, the flavor how they smell and these kind of things. That's all by, made by phytonutrients, very interesting. So today I will make um, a dressing for my fruit salad. And this dressing is also very special because I use raspberries, frozen raspberries here, you see. And the problem I have with raspberries always is if I blend them, the little seeds in the raspberries, they can make a scratching feeling, it's a gross feeling. And I found out if I blend them really thoroughly, yeah, that's why it's good to have frozen ones because blending them a long time will warm it to warmer. And I want to have not want to have a too warm a dressing. I want to have a dressing that is also cool. So I blend them together for a long time with bananas and cashews. Both help with their fiber. Both help to make the structure, the texture, more gentle, more creamy. Yeah. Blending raspberries on their own might even cause a little bit scratching with colored the seeds. Yeah, I don't know. And if you blend the raspberries, you will always taste a little bit bitter flavor in the background because that's what seeds taste like. They have this strong and nutrient content. They taste a little bit more bitter, but you know that is really part of the raspberry. You enjoy the raspberry with its raspberry flavor and. The little bitterness in there is just part of it, yeah, but you can taste it. You, but it's not not uh, something that would uh, no, you not like or so. It's really delicious. Um, but music together with the with the seeds, it's a very nice effect. And I will put a little bit of water in there, just a little bit, just a tiny little bit, to make the blending easier. As you can see here, most of the part here is the raspberry. It's a raspberry cream. And I have some bananas, two bananas here, and some cashews. Not too many, a small, very small handful of cashews. I have to blend a little bit longer, so blend your hands long. <laughs> Creamy. I tried it before 
a little test blending before the video. It turned out very nice. Now I taste it here. It looks amazing. And it's cool, yeah, from the frozen dress, but very nice. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I show you. Here's my bowl. Combine the fruits. And I have papaya. That's the main ingredient today. I have a nice papaya here. You see a ripe papaya, so very healthy. Um, they are wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Delicious, full of nutrients and fiber. And kiwis and raspberries. Both have a sweet and sour flavor, whereas the papaya has oh, maybe a gentle flavor, more gentle, very um, open for seasoning. Papaya can be used with uh, chili pepper or lime or so many other flavors, black pepper. They can, it's open to many seasonings, um, raspberries too, but especially papayas. And, and um, I think the, the stronger flavor of the raspberry, uh, the, the strawberry and, and the kiwi will um, add a nice flavor to the, to the papaya. And here you see this wonderful fruit salad. The beautiful colors and here comes the raspberry cream show you here when i pour it over my fruit salad another nice color here this um, pink color beautiful that is my fruit salad today and um, i will now stir it i'll toss it a little bit and then i can serve it in a glass i will show you in a moment and you see what it looks like it's very nice, very nice, beautiful, beautiful fruit salad with all these wonderful colors. Today it's about phytonutrients, phytochemicals, they are also called. And so these colors are much in the foreground. Yeah. All about colors today. Of course, always flavors. But here, here I have it. And the top, I put on the top, I put some blueberries. Yeah. Make it nice, top it with blueberries. I think that is a nice idea. Also, the flavor of the blueberry, I thought about that before, is also pretty gentle. And that might correspond very nice to, uh, with the papaya. So, here's what I have today. That's my breakfast. I will have two of these, I guess. And I guess it will keep me satisfied for a while. I'm very happy to have this wonderful opportunity to have all these fruits out in the health food shop. What can we ask for, right? It's, we are so rich here in this. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, give me a thumbs up, a like, and maybe subscribe. And be vegan on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day. And find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter.